Well, to say the least, we're going to have to replace the screen. Almost there. That mouse knows that if he gets on the other side of that screen, he's a goner. It's a very smart mouse. Lovingly licked by the cat. Wish I could somehow get this mouse to decide to commit suicide a little quicker. I'm definitely not opening the window for you. Well, cat, if you could just tear that mesh open, because God knows they're going to have to replace it anyways. Mmm, tasty morsel. Giving it a nice, nice sniff and lick. Normally, I'd be, I'd feel very sympathetic for the mouse, but being I got a bunch of these, I've been getting into my garage and into my car. I'm not sympathetic anymore. Here we go. Give it that loving squeeze. It is interesting to see one alive up close so, so clearly. And he's kind of. Obviously, we all a little doomed here. We gotta somehow get this show on the road, but I don't know how. I'm gonna go outside and cut the screen open for the cat or the mouse. The mouse knows damn well he better not move at the other side of that screen. It's the only thing that's keeping him, keeping him intact. Meanwhile, the cat, if it could just get a little more aggressive. Go to lay down and take a nap with the mouse. You ain't got anything else better to do. You know, it's only a matter of time. That, cat, that mouse is going to get hungry. Truly playing with the mouse. Interesting. Well, mouse, all I can say for a tactic is you uh, you go up, use that uppermost right hole, and you hightail it as fast as you can. Oh, he got out. I'm amazed that this cat is that indifferent. He's out, you know. Only that plastic bag wasn't there. The mouse is somewhere underneath that bag. Well, it's down in there somewhere, this guy. Where is he hiding? I'm a bit mystified too. I don't know where this cat mouse could have gone. It has to be underneath there. It's one calm mouse. Definitely no. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, 
Come on, guy. You don't want to go back in there. No. Hard to aim and torment at the same time. Ugh. Well, I must say, this cat has got very slow reflexes, and that mouse isn't exactly the most lightning-fast mouse in the world. I'm surprised that he's survived this many times. That cat must not be terribly serious. No, there's no other mice in there, there as far as I know. Don't give up now. Hmm. Well, as far as I know, there are no other mice underneath there. Probably a good idea to look. Hmm. Well, one mouse, one plastic bag. Bubble wrap, I guess. Uh, no, nothing on there. Either. Well, this could take all day. Maybe I'll come back later and either find no, no mouse, no cat, and no, no conclusion. But I don't want to stand here all day. Okay, so after a period of time, the cat eventually got tired of the mouse and wandered on his way. The mouse, being a bit tired and stressed out from all that, draped himself over these nice customized holes in the mesh and took a bit of a nap, breathing heavily. I felt sympathetic enough for the mouse. I finally went out and took a garden rake, got him to get up onto the rake, and sent him on his merry way, hopefully to never encounter another cat, so long as he stays out in the field where he's meant to be. After all, he's called a field mouse.